<laughs> I just completely forgotten what I'm doing. All right, I'm ready now. Two, one, and go. Hand me my client. Campaign for an organic produce store. All right, so let's think a second. We've got organic produce store. I apologize in advance for my handwriting. So we think of their main competitors. The first thing that would come to mind for me would be like Whole Foods. They're kind of dominating that whole market right now. So how do we distinguish ourselves from Whole Foods? Now, let's take certain parts of the organic produce market that we know that Whole Foods doesn't offer. So, for example, if we were to hypothetically say that our client was all British produce, then that's one way that we can distinguish their product offering from what Whole Foods does, which opens up a new avenue of messaging. So we can create something like we can do a content-led gap analysis into search for things like all British produce. So if you want something like seasonal, seasonality, seasonal veg, what's in season at the moment and what's coming from local farmers. It's all British, it's all seasonal, it's all relevant and it's contextual, it's sexy, like they're trying to kind of expand their recipe horizons, right? So that deviates them from the kind of homogenous offering that Whole Foods have. So how can we do this? Like what kind of channels could we use? I don't really know if we could go the kind of paid route, but maybe we can do something on social and we can use something on PR. So for example, for certain influencers, healthy eating influencers, we could get uh, our clients put together a box, a veg box, or whatever seasonal at the moment, and send it off to them, basically highlighting that all of this fresh veg actually came from a farmer that's just around your corner. And given how much search interest there is at the moment for healthy eating influencers and kind of vegan and alternative diet, that's gonna garner like an awful lot of appeal amongst those audiences. For the content, Probably one of the best things that we could do was to try and, so like, I know for example that there are certain audiences that think that Whole Foods is overpriced and kind of bougie. So maybe there's a way that, because this product is all British based, they don't necessarily have to pay for shipping costs to the same extent. So it's going to be more cost effective. So it's more cost effective, we can create content that sits on site that talks about how, when you're actually paying for this lower priced produce, you're not sacrificing quality. What you are doing, in fact, is you're supporting local businesses. So not only is it ethical, it's more accessible to people from various incomes and different backgrounds. So we're preaching accessibility in our content, affordability, and ethics. So we use our on-site content to drive all of that up. We use our PR influencers to generate a bit of hype. And for social, what could we do with social? Uh, we could probably get, uh, we could launch a social-led campaign, a contest for people to cook with these vegetables and try to create the most seasonally approved dish. That's something that you could do. Campaign, contest, send in photos of your sexy seasonal meal. That's going to generate social hype. We've got one minute left, cool. All right, so let's think about this. We've got our social, we've got our PR, we've got our messaging, all of that. I see that leading to an improvement in brand management, increase in organic traffic for the site, increase in social presence, and carving a niche distinctive from competitors. Boom, done. 25 minutes, 25 seconds to spare. Sweet. Whole premise of this is to create messaging that distinguishes our client from Whole Foods. So we do that by pointing out the fact that they have all British produce. That dictates our messaging. We then get on-site content to talk about the fact that all of these local farmers are some local businesses that you can support. So create messaging that talks about accessibility, affordability, because the product costs less compared to its competitors, 
and ethics. We use a social campaign that incentivizes people to send in pictures of their recipes with all the seasonal produce. We have a PR campaign that uses influencers where we then send out seasonal veg boxes to get them to talk about and access their audiences and talk about some of these particular messaging hot points. We distinguish ourselves from Whole Foods, we have ourselves more brand awareness, an increase in organic traffic, we increase our social presence as a result of the social media campaign and we carve out a niche that distinguishes ourselves from our main competitor which in this instance is Whole Foods. Five seconds left. 